ahead of this fight, I feel like people are branding you Rocky too. Yeah. Have you heard that going into I haven't, not yet. Really? I think it, even Dana White said you're the next Rocky. Yeah. Um, so with that moniker on it, being in Philadelphia, it's, it sort of feels like there's a big fight. It's like a big fight feel, you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, I mean, we're, it's the big leagues here. These are all big fights. Um, you know, number six, number seven in the world. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it gets a little bit bigger than this, but there's uh, this, me and Edson Barbosa is, is a dream matchup for many, many uh, UFC fans and MMA fans in general. So I'm excited to put on a show, just like always. We spoke about this a little bit yesterday, but that sort of pressure to, to deliver, you sort of relish in that, right? Yeah, I mean, I've been wrestling since I was four years old, so I'm... Um, Countless times I've been in this in this situation, um, you know, different levels obviously along the way, but you know it was always the biggest match or the biggest fight at the time, and yeah, I've put myself through this countless times. When you were in uh, WSF, I think this is what everyone wanted to see. They wanted to see you here fighting these guys at the stage. I'm sure you know you would have liked to win all your UFC fights so far. Yeah. But like, how <clears throat> satisfying is it to finally be here and to you know test your skills against? very best lightweights out there it's it's what i've what i always wanted you know um it's it's a process you start on the local scene and then you work your way up and yeah i mean world series was a great platform for me to go out there and showcase my skills um fight some really 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 tough guys and it, that really ultimately prepared me for to fight these guys and um again you know this was my dream from from day one to uh to go on there and be on this platform um you know win or lose i'm gonna come out here and just give it give it my all like you can and you mentioned yesterday wanted, really wanting the Poirier rematch. Um, does Eddie Alvarez's name not come in there just because he's no longer in the UFC? I don't know. I don't even want to talk about anybody else. You guys got you guys got me on that line yesterday. <laughs> I wasn't very happy about that. You uh, you mentioned this being a dream fight for a lot of UFC fans, and I think you're absolutely correct. But I mean, they can't all be fighting in the nice fight of the years, right? I mean, how do you temper expectations? Uh, I think they can be all fight of the nights and fight of the years. So far, they have been. So I don't see any ch anything changing on this one. This is a great opponent for me to. To have that, you know, um, if I go out there, obviously being in the main event, your your likelihood of getting the bonus is much greater than being, you know, at the beginning of the card. Um, so I'm thankful to be in the main event, main event spot, um, and yeah, to be here in Philadelphia and perform for these guys. I know how much you guys love fighting, so. You, you said yes, you weren't very happy with us getting that line of you. I won't mention any other fighters' names, but is that just something you kind of dislike about the media that we might take a bit that you weren't even... Yeah, so. yeah, I was, of course, I, I mean, I've been here long enough, I know, I'm not stupid, I, um, yeah, we, we talked about a lot of things yesterday, but it seems that was the only headline that came out of it. Just talking about other fights and stuff? Yeah, saying that I was looking, pretty much, it makes it seem like I'm looking past Edson Barboza when my first line of the sentence was, I really don't know, like, but if you're going to ask me, you know, I have to answer the question. What, what do you like so much about this matchup with Edson? I mean, he's obviously fought so many of the best guys. He has tied for the most knockouts in this division, four most yeah. wins and everything. Is it just, you know, the, the kind of clout that comes with beating him? Yeah, the caliber of fighter that he is is something that, uh, you know, he's he's Brazil's best fighter. I'm, you know, again, I want to represent the United States of America versus Brazil's best, versus Russia's best, versus everybody, you know. So um, this is my first fight fighting someone from a different country, so that, that has me excited. And, uh, yeah, just uh, the recognition that I will – receive after I finish him will be, you know, much greater. He says the game plan is, or sorry, he says the game plan is no game plan. I mean, what's your game plan going into it? That's exactly how you have to, if you're at this level, I mean, you have to be your best self. I've trained for 12 weeks to uh, to be my best my best self in there. I got to go in there and make no mistakes. Um, that's what separates one from the other here is, is your ability to stay focused and, and methodical, but make no mistakes. So far in your UFC run, you sort of managed to get that out of every fight you face. But when you have someone like Edson, he's like, yeah, he likes to scrap. So do I. Does that sort of excite you even more, knowing that yeah. he's going to meet you in the middle? Yeah, I love it. I love it. Um, we'll see. I mean, we've I've seen uh, a couple different Edsons fight. Uh, mm -hmm. He's quit before, um, and yeah. we'll see if. Uh, I, I mean, I know that the man is no no joke. I know that he's willing to go just as far as I'm willing to go, but. Um, <clears throat> You know, he's fighting, he, again, I don't have kids, I don't have a wife. I'm out here to, to, to give it, to give it all. And um, if you're in a different position, then you have to, you have to think about those things in the middle of, uh, of the chaos that, that is going to ensue. You said yesterday, actually, that you see like people like he, when you pressure them, they fold. Is that what you mean, that he's got other stuff? Or do you just think the way he fights, you said he's great for two rounds. It's just, it doesn't well, I just think pressure, pressure tends to to get in his head in the fight. Um, 
again, I don't want to put too much thought into it, but um, my plan is always to go in there and take take their souls. So yeah, that's what I'm in there to do tomorrow or Saturday night um, versus Edson. When, when people say when fighters talk like that, sometimes you think it's like hyperbole. But when you say I want to take their soul, I think people like yeah, yeah. I don't want to kill him, but I want him to. Um, I mean, I'm I'm 19 and two. I think uh, probably six or seven guys have never fought again after they fought me. So that's my intentions every time I fight. Do you get some sense of pride in that? Like you don't oh, just absolutely. beat them, you kind of fuck them yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, I know they go home and they're like, I don't ever want to go through that again, and that's my goal. You said coming into this, uh, you talked a little about pay and how you don't get much more for being in the main event. Is that something fighters need to look at moving forward when it comes time to sign their contracts? I don't know. This is a this is a game where you, you got to fight for yourself. I'm not worried about anybody else or what they get paid. I'm worried about what I get paid. And um, my only argument there is the way that I fight. Not a lot of guys fight like me, so no, I'm not going to put them in the same category. But if I do get seriously injured it will be in the fourth or fifth round whenever whenever i'm um, extremely tired because of my output in the first you know first two or three rounds so it seems, um, it, it seems crazy like you don't get anything extra for fight of the you year you get right something now. extra just not yeah. enough i mean it should it should be based on your pay scale uh if i'm getting paid something for three rounds then you should it's easy to do the math and then add two rounds onto that so if i'm getting paid 100 100 you know that's how much are like 33,000 33, a round if I lose, 66,000 a round if I win. So I would like to get 120, 122,000 more to fight for two weeks rounds. Is Do you get anything for a second? Is this something that and those are just numbers. Those aren't what I get paid. Sure. <laughs> um, is this something that you intend to you know, bring up when you... I have brought it up. I brought it up. Yeah. I'm here to fight, man. That's all I care about right now. I'm not worried about the business. You can't worry about the business this close to a fight. There's, yeah. there's only a certain amount of things that I can't control um, leading into this fight, and I will not spend an ounce of energy uh, thinking about the other things that I can't. And you had that great quote as well saying, you know, if you fight Edson 100 times, you'll knock about 80, and uh, you might yeah. 20. Yeah, no, he'll knock me out 20, and I'm going to take a soul 80 times. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's uh, the game that we play. Um, I think as long as I go in there and I fight a smart fight, uh, I think that... Um, I, I, I break him. There, I will break him. What does that moment look like in your mind when you see him breaking? I mean, is there you know, well, something that you I don't do see that? him. I, don't, I won't see in his face. I, again, I'm fighting the best of the best, man. These, mm -hmm. these guys are no joke. Um, I'm not going to go in there and see fear in his eyes. There's no way that's going to happen. I'm going in there. I'm going to see a killer right across from me, and I'm, I'm going to go out there and play the game that we play. You mentioned he's broken before in the past. Uh, was there a specific moment that you saw, like the Lee fight or the uh, no, not, fight? not necessarily. No. So how do you win? Uh, how do I win? Yeah, I don't we'll, know. We'll see. Give me a knockout. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This this sport is amazing, man. So many things can happen at any given time. So I'm gonna go in there. I have to stay methodical. I have to stay smart. I have to fight my fight. And uh, if I do that, then I see myself getting my hand raised. We're in Philly, so I've asked everyone, do you have a favorite Rocky movie? Oh, I like all of them, man. Yeah. Not, no, not specific. I like when he knocked out the, the Russian. That was a good one. <laughs> Perfect. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, man.